this is Julie with Beta Halik, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to make this little modern earring. I'm actually calling it the Pompadour earring because it looks like a little piece of modern art. It's not very hard to make, it's really fun. What you're going to need is you're going to need one of these rectangular bead frames and I'm going to show you real quick that on each end it has a little hole that you can then put a head pin or an eye pin through. So in this case we're going to be using an eye pin you're going to need five millimeter bicones. These are Swarovski crystal in Indicolite. You're going to also need a little focal bead. For this one, I'm using this classic cut pendant in Bermuda blue. Again, it's a Swarovski crystal. And for the earring hook, I really wanted another nice modern shape. So I have these Nun Design open oval hoops. And I did want to show you, you could also do this in silver as well, very easily. For your tools, you're going to need a couple pairs of chain nose pliers, a wire looping plier or a round nose, and a cutter. So these are some great basic tools that you probably already have. If you don't, um, I would definitely recommend them. We carry them at beetaholic.com and they're really, this is my basic tool set that I use all the time. So how do you make this? It is very simple. So we're gonna take the eye pin and we're gonna stick it through one of the holes. Now we're going to string on five five millimeter bicone beads. Pick your favorite color. There's a lot of colors to choose from. So we've got those. And now we're just going to slide down that piece of wire, keeping the beads on it until it goes through the hole on the other side. And this is actually gonna be the top of our earring. We're gonna use that loop up top because we need a slightly bigger loop for this pendant. So you see it's right here. We gotta be able to get through it because I didn't wanna add an extra jump ring. You definitely could, but I thought it'd be nice to just do everything with this one eye pin. So I'm gonna take my wire looping pliers and I don't wanna do it on the very tip because that would create a smaller loop and I don't want it way back here either because that's gonna be too big. I'm gonna try to make it rest right about here to get just a little bit bigger of a loop. So I'm just going to grab the wire where it exits the bead frame, squeeze, bend it over, rotate my pliers to the top. You can also do this with round nose if you do have round nose and not wire looping and just have that wire crisscross. Where it crisscrosses, we're gonna make a nice little cut, like so. Now there's an important thing we wanna do with this. We're gonna make sure that's straight. Now because of the orientation of our ear wire, so it has a loop on it, it's facing this way, which will be great because it's gonna connect onto that loop right there. But then if we want this piece here to face forward, we need this loop to be up and down and not flat. So to do that, we're just going to grip the top loop with one pair of pliers, grip the bottom loop. This can be a little disorienting with that nice frame. And we're just going to carefully twist it. So we've got one facing, one facing one way, and one facing the other way. And now we're gonna be able to put our pendant on and have it face forward for us. So now open up this loop like you would open up a jump ring. Slide on your pendant via the hole. And then just close that loop back up. Now you could also, if you wanted to, you could be really careful when you make that loop initially and try to orient it properly to start. That is another option. If you just twist it that one time, it's not going to harm the integrity of your wire. So now you can either open the loop at the base of your ear hook or you can loop, open this loop. You wanna make sure now that that crystal is facing forward. Okay, so let's see, before you close it up. So if I did it like this, nope, it's gonna be facing backwards. So let me change how I did it. There we go, that's gonna be perfect. Always double check your orientation when you're making jewelry. Make sure that what you want facing forward is actually going to face forward when it hangs. But there we go, we just finished our earring. Very easy, very quick and simple. Now I use Bermuda Blue on the base and Indicolite up top. You can always go ahead and try to match your colors. You can use opposite colors, ones that have, are nice and contrasting. 
really have fun with this design. It's a very simple, basic construction method, so you can really play around with your colors and have a lot of freedom if you're gonna do it in silver or gold, or you're gonna do pinks, blues, greens, whatever you may, might wanna do. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find the detailed instructions for it as well as the supplies at beataholic.com.